guys, it's Ben from Heirloom Pianos coming to you from our new Armadale Piano Showroom location. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of the Kawai K300, which is the entry-level Japanese manufactured model in the Kawai K series upright range. Uh, talking a little bit about some of the features, uh, the design of the piano, and who this sort of model is intended for in the market. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's have a look inside. Alrighty, so we have removed the front panel and the foreboard, and this is the action mechanism and keyboard assembly for the K300. This is an area where the piano really stands out compared to its competitors at this price point. Uh, this action contains Kawai's Millennium 3 action with carbon ABS composite uh, components. Um, the advantage of this is that most of the components as you can see are made of composite materials and this prevents issues in regards to humidity and other associated uh, problems causing fluctuations with regulation and um, allows for more sort of stability when it comes to the setup of the pianos. Kawai has also uh, used a lot of componentry which um, is alternative materials to the kind of traditional felts and leathers that you find and these are much more resilient to um, moth and other insect damages on the uh, uh, out in the field. The other area where this piano stands out is the use of mahogany hammer mouldings for the um, hammers. And mahogany is a, a low impact noise material so what that means is that when playing, especially when you're playing, uh, you don't tend to get a lot of um, aggressive action noise um, as you would find with other materials such as hickory and hornbeam. Another area where this piano stands out from the competition is in the keyboard assembly. So, as you can see here, all 88 keys are uh, designed to be removed from what's called the keyframe, and when it comes to the action and the weighting of the action mechanism. Traditional pianos will have lead key weights placed at specific areas to allow for enough inertia for the key to depress but also return properly. Now this also essentially evens out the touch weight of the action. Uh, considering that hammer one is much heavier and has more mass than hammer number 88 at the top here. So Kawai, unlike any other manufacturer at this price point, doesn't include the use of lead key weights. So you can see here that instead of having your traditional leads, which are very prone to expansion and contraction, which can cause sticky keys or even worse, keys that break, uh, they have little stainless steel counterweights next to the capstan here. So a practical feature, but something else that's very good from an environmental perspective as well. Looking to the rear of the piano now, you can see that we have three back posts in the assembly. These allow for better rigidity of the structure of the piano, as well as improving tuning stability. And unlike many instruments in this part of the market, we also have a solid spruce soundboard, as well as a solid rib assembly to allow for extra dynamics and greater complexity of tone with the piano. So to sum up, this is a really fantastic high-end instrument. Uh, one of the things I like about it most is the broad spectrum appeal. So 
It has features that beginners will find useful all the way through people doing moderate to advanced performance. Um, and it's no secret that uh, the quality of the instrument as well as the competitive price point that it's at has made this one of the largest selling new uprights in the Australian market. So uh, we're currently selling these at the moment and we offer free delivery in the Armadale New England region. Um, if you're beyond that, feel free to give us a call. Quite happy to give you a price or uh, sell, look to sell you a piano, whether you're in Perth or Sydney. Um, any questions or uh, comments, feel free to uh, leave a comment below, uh, send us an email, or uh, hit us up on the social media. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.